Hey everyone, this is Armadillo Gaming, and I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough slash tutorial on the Sunshine Meadows Industrial Farm. This is a really cool workshop, and it has a lot of um, useful uh, generators here, resource generators. So, first thing you gotta do is clear out the enemies. They're usually pretty low level because this isn't that far from Vault 76. A lot of times they're out in these barracks type buildings. Not sure where they're kind of in a T pose right now, but whatever. Let's see, where's the next? After I clear these enemies, I'll show you the map and show you where this is located. Oh, here we go. There he is. I think that there might be... Okay, there's one on the roof. Being dumb. Alright. So we cleared all the enemies. Let's come down here. So, we're right here, Sunshine Meadows, here's Vault 76, um, not that far from Flatwoods. The really interest, or the main attraction of this workshop to me is the food processor. So if you're new to workshops and you're new to this game, all you gotta do is come up to this after you cleared the enemies and spend some caps to activate it. Just to start capturing it. Um, and what that does is you will gain temporary ownership of the workshop until you log out or someone takes it from you. Okay, so now that I've done that, I can go into the build menu and start hooking up stuff. You can see that this is the food packaging factory right here. It requires 40 power. It produces 20 food an hour. So let's get going with some generators. Usually just put down these big ones. And you only need to put down three even though it needs 40 because, and I'll show you in a second, Trying to grab that back one. Hold these up. Like so. And so this act, this little box actually generates 10 power. So all you gotta do is hook it up to that and it'll start going. Alright, let's exit the build menu and go to the terminal right here. And you can select what food you want to want it to make. Now you can select whichever one you want, but I recommend the Salisbury steak because it heals you 25 but it also gives you, restores 25% of your hunger. So that's a pretty big amount. And these never go go bad, they never get rotten. Like if you, you know, harvest meat off of a, a rad stag or something and then grill it, you know, that has a limited time before you can, before it goes bad. And, but these, you can keep as many as you want in your inventory. And so what it's gonna do is it's just gonna make it, and it's gonna make I think it can hold about four at a time. Um, unfortunately, it's kind of annoying. Um, what I like to do is just kind of, uh, you know, be on the internet doing other things, and then and just kind of have a workshop up, and then run around and collect the resources every five minutes or so. Uh, another really, er, another really good thing about this place is. Um, is all of the other extractors that you can put down. So this is a junk pile over here. And let's see, let's go to resources. And we can go to the junk extractor and place that down. And then of course we need a generator for it. Make it run. Let's hook that up. 
it'll start going. And that'll make, uh, basically a random, like, random junk. Um, you know, random crafting materials. So that's in the, f that was the inside and the front of the building. So let's go around the side here. And we'll get to one of the other resource deposits here. This is a phosphor de phosphorus deposit, and that makes, or you can put down a, um, fertilizer extractor. Again, you need a generator for it. And that'll make fertilizer. It says it makes 33 an hour. And then around back, there's a concrete deposit where you can put a concrete extractor. Again, you can do your power solutions however you want. I just find it easiest to plop down a, a tin generator at each one of these. And this uh, concrete extractor makes 33 an hour. Again, all of these by themselves aren't that great, but when you combine them all together, it makes for a pretty decent um, way to get these materials. Besides just hopping servers, especially because of the getting the Salisbury steaks, those those are worth it. Just just for those, because it, they'll last you a while. So I'm, I'm not gonna hook up the a generator to that one. I don't feel like I need to. And here's an here's an aluminum deposit. So if you need aluminum, it's a good place to get that. And then also there's an, another, one more um, fertilizer extractor over here. So there's three fertilizer extractors in total, one aluminum extractor, one concrete. Oh, there's ghouls over there attacking my... So for the defend events, the animals or whatever that spawn will actually attack your generators and blow them up. And you'll have to spend resources to repair them. Luckily, they're usually pretty low level here. And you don't have to worry about them doing too much damage to them before you can get there. So let's go see if our... Salisbury Steak Maker has done its thing in here. And it has. It's made one. Now sometimes these um, extractors can be a little glitchy. Where like you'll go up to it and you'll be like, oh it hasn't made anything. And then you press the transfer button and go into this menu and it show, it'll show it show like, you know, some that it didn't, that it didn't show a second ago. I'm not sure why it does this. It's like it, the server doesn't update fast enough to, to show you what's actually in there. So every time I go up to them, after being away for a while, I usually press the press the button to see what's um see what's actually in there. So this just makes random stuff. You know, you might need it, you might not. And that's pretty much the gist of this place. Now, uh, one other quick tip I would like to say for managing your food is have... Um, here, let's pull it up on Pip-Boy. I have a lot of perks that I don't want right now. So, for my endurance, my endurance is basically all about managing my food and thirst. Or my hunger and thirst. So I have all food satisfies hunger by an additional 25%. All drinks quench thirst by an additional 25%. And these two are very important, in my opinion. And they help a lot in higher level areas where you're having to take lots of stim packs and rad X constantly and rad away. Because those generate thirst and hunger so much that you're like going through your food supply like right then and there. And these two perks eliminate that. Hydrofix 
makes Kim's no longer generate thirst at rank 2, and Munchie resistance makes Kim's now never induce hunger at rank 2. And these are super great. I highly recommend those two perks if you're going to do high level stuff or, or just in general because after I got those two, I had very little trouble managing my hunger and thirst. Um, oh, here comes some more. And so usually what I do is, you know, I'll watch some YouTube videos or something and have this up on my other screen and just run around and collect these resources uh, as soon as they come up, you know, every five minutes or so. And if I can hit this one. Anyway, so, you know, run around every five minutes or so for about an hour maybe and you'll have probably at least um, 20 to 30 Salisbury steak. And you don't have to use them that often, especially if you have perks that that make you that make them uh, get rid of your hunger. So like I've, I haven't done this in a week, I would say, at least a week, maybe more, and I still have. Let's see. I still have 19. Um, and you can see how much it's going to make me go up if I eat one. So, they're really, really great. Um, also, a thing that I would really recommend is diluting your stim packs and right away and stuff. You have to have purified water to do that, but if you have the um, chemist perk, it'll double the amount of things of uh, chems that you craft. So you're basically turning one regular stem pack, which will probably overheal you anyway, and turn it into a and turn it into four diluted stem packs, and that's amazing. You'll never run into stem packs again. I guarantee you. Uh, a lot of times, I have so many stem packs that I literally don't need. I just sell them to the vendors. Uh, another thing to note here at this location, particularly, is loose screws usually spawn. Loose, loose screws and gears usually spawn over here uh, and also there is an upstairs that you just saw it's a little office here and there's two offices up there and then there's stairs that lead to the roof so and there's windows you can shoot out of up there if someone tries to you know steal this place from you and that's pretty much it for this place this it's a really good location in this game um, especially for getting food to last you and you don't you won't have to worry about you know oh I'm you know dying of hunger all the time the only thing this place doesn't have is water access so that you can put down industrial water generators that would be amazing you can put down the regular little ones though and and those will generate water pretty quick but it, it would be really great if you could put down an industri some industrial water purifiers here too unfortunately that's not possible uh, this is one of the best workshops in the game, in my opinion, and I plan on doing some more videos, uh, walkthroughs slash tutorial type videos on some of the different workshops that are pretty good um, to help you guys out if you're new to the game or you just don't want to have to figure out where all the resource deposits, deposits are because it, sometimes it can take a while to find them. Um, anyway, I hope this helps you guys, and uh, I will see you in the next one.